Hello guys, welcome to another review for the Galaxy smartwatch, how to control with your smartwatch the air conditioner of your house. So to be able to work with the smart things in the Galaxy watch and to add the air conditioner, first you got to add it to your phone. So after you add your devices, your TV, your smartwatch, go in the Galaxy store, look for the smart things. And it's an application developed by Samsung. You got to install this application on the smartwatch. And here you can browse and you can view your devices. And I have here my two devices, the AC and the, the TV. Now you can customize your devices, you have seen devices, automations, and in the settings you can manage your uh, your devices manage items so for example I uh, insert my room AC I can uh, insert my other devices we have a lot of devices to turn them on or off directly from the smartwatch so for example if you have more TVs in your house you can manage your uh, TVs and uh, you can turn them off you can monitorize and see what TV it's on and from the smartwatch you can turn that uh, off. It's too bad that uh, the TVs uh, you cannot turn them on from uh, the mobile data you can turn them on only from uh, the Wi-Fi. If you have Wi-Fi in your house uh, you can use that to turn off or on. In other set of words you can turn off by mobile data wherever you are in the world with uh, this smartwatch. So I really don't understand why it's not working with the mobile uh, data and it's working only with your uh, Wi-Fi router. Some other new features you can do with the smart things. Well, you can uh, buy yourself a door lock and use smart things to lock your door or you can set your blindfolds of your windows to automatically pull down when you press a button from your smartwatch. It's very interesting this feature, especially that uh, the Samsung developed for the smartwatch to have and to control as many things as you can. So another thing you can buy lights and uh, control them uh, by this the smart things all kinds of both connected to your Wi-Fi router and connected to the application to the uh, server Samsung server and from there you can find them add them in your smart uh, watch and you can do all kinds of controls for now let's see how is the air conditioner how to start it and uh, how to control it and now let's start the AC unit with the help of the smart watch and I made um, some uh, widget a shortcut right here and with the help um, this is just for starting so let's start it up and um, I'm telling you I'm using only the data I'm not using uh, the Wi-Fi and it's starting through the server, it's uh, displaying some information on my watch home 24 degrees set to 25. So now, if I want to let's go in smart things, one device is on. And for example, if I want to set up the degrees, I can set it up from here. But I didn't succeed, I don't know, this uh, is uh, buffering all the time so it will not change the degrees it's some kind of bug even if uh, it's starting and uh, stopping the AC unit so now I'm connecting to Wi-Fi and I don't know I want to push to 25 degrees and this option is not working but but until this bug is fixed by Samsung and SmartThings, you can use the turning on and off of your air conditioning. And this is pretty good. You came back from the work and you are near to your home. You start the air conditioner and uh, it cools down your home. And it's a pity that from this shortcut you cannot access the SmartThings. I don't know why. This must be improved also by Samsung. Okay, let's... Turn, uh, I want to show you, I want to completely turn off the Wi-Fi 
and uh, use only the mobile data for um, for the smart things or for the air conditioner. Let's wait to connect it to the mobile data. And this works flawlessly. I don't know why the commands to the plus and minus degrees do not work, but uh, I'm also happy with this function.